Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 symbol for four. So today guys we're talking to guys about Real Madrid So Karim Benzema has decided to leave Real Madrid after 14 seasons at the club guys I mean, this is ridiculous. The guy is a club legend guys. He will undoubtedly be one of Real Madrid's greatest players of all time I think I still think Raul de Stefano and obviously Cristiano Ronaldo still have a bigger legacy than him at Real Madrid You know, however, he's definitely in the conversation. He's at least top 10. I think that's very obvious, you know and you guys can debate in the comments where specifically the top 10 is. Maybe we might even do it uh, for another video of that. But anyways, that's for another time. Let's discuss about Benzema, man. Benzema, for me, even as a Barca fan, I will admit, has been underappreciated. You know, the guy was, like, rated in terms of goals and assists. You know, and I think Ronaldo leaving Real Madrid actually saved his legacy at Real Madrid in some ways. Because I feel like we wouldn't be talking about Benzema in the same light if R R Ronaldo had stayed. You know? Because the problem is, he was always a second guy when Ronaldo was there. You know, he finally became the main guy um, after Ronaldo left. And, you know, he did a good job. He was amazing. Like, I remember, like, what was it, 2020, 2021 season. He was fantastic, individually speaking. Um, and he, yet, Real Madrid didn't win anything. No one talked about it. They went trophyless. And I think for Madrid, that was actually, that was a really great season for him, statistically speaking, individually wise. The guy was amazing. And the fact that, he w didn't win any trophies. Everyone forgot about him. Like, I would still say that was an amazing season for Benzema. Like, he was integral to that Real Madrid team. And, and then, obviously, you know, it's interesting. Now, Real Madrid is going to have a big summer this summer because, obviously, Ido Nazar is going to be leaving on a... Uh, they terminate his contract. Asensio is going to leave as a free agent. Then, obviously, you have... Um, uh, Mariano is going to leave. And then you also have Benzema is going to leave. So Real Madrid are going to need to buy a lot of new forwards this summer. Like, you got to buy at least two forwards because, you know, and that's not even mentioning the fact of other players that could also leave as well. You know, maybe like likes of Modric and Cruz, they may also leave. Although I do think they'll stay, you know. And so this is going to be a big summer for Real Madrid. And who's Real Madrid going to get? Who's going to be the next striker for Real Madrid? Because for me, that's going to be a very interesting conversation. And maybe that self should be a separate video. So, like I said, guys, for Real Madrid, man, who's going to be the next striker? Because I've been hearing links to Joselo. I swear to God, Real Madrid better not buy Joselo. If they do, I'm sorry. That will look embarrassing. I'm sorry. The guy is not even that great. You know? You know, it's not even that great. Um, And so, yeah, one last thing before I head off, guys. Real Madrid, they know when to move on from certain players. They always have the right idea to move on from certain players. They know when to let them go. And Florentino Perez, man, he made the smart choice of letting Benzema go now because it was it would have been a very bad idea if they kept Benzema like till he was like 38 and the guy was like, you know, like not that great. So it's a good that Real Madrid moved on from him, but they could get some value for him. He's look Benzema's looking like he'll go to Saudi Arabia, so best of luck to him there. And I think the club is like Al Idad, I think, something like that. Um, I have to double check. But yeah, it's like something like that. So like I said, man, respect to Karim Benzema. He's going to be one of the best number nines we've had in the last decade or so. Is he the best number nine? I don't think he is, but um, he's definitely up there. He's definitely in the conversation, so he's at least like in the top three, you would probably say. So, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on Karim Benzema as a whole, his career at Real Madrid. And like I said, guys, I try to do this one as objectively as I possibly can. So, as I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. Comment section below. Remember to become a member of the channel. Make sure you guys turn on notifications to be notified whenever we go live. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.